good morning guys so guess what day it is today is the 29th of june it's the day that kylie is scheduled to release their um their kylie wedding fragrance okay the silk santal i think it's the velvet sorry i'm trying to cross the road <laughs> the velvet santal <laughs> not very smart there but yeah so i decided to bring you guys along with me as per usual i literally ran not walk ran <laughs> to selfridges just to check this fragrance out i'm going to huda beauty i'm hoping that huda beauty does have this fragrance usually when um kylie releases the fragrance huda beauty does not have the fragrance in store which is very annoying so there's like sometimes there's no way for you to see the fragrance you have to order it online so most of the times i buy my kylie fragrances blind oh by the way <laughs> welcome to my channel <laughs> i'm so sorry you guys i just immediately started talking without even welcoming you guys to my channel welcome 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 one and all this is your girl adriana dc if you guys are new here i do perfume reviews um new fragrance releases i do a few um a few try on hauls you know shopping vlogs and all that good stuff so yeah if you are new and you are into that kind of thing then please hit that subscribe button make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and for those of you who are my returning subscribers <laughs> let's go to summer day oh yes I'm gonna give you guys a nice sneak peek of Salvages. I need to get to the top. Ah. Off the Salvages. Oh, you guys, fingers crossed. Woo! I think I'm looking at it. I think I'm seeing it. All right, so we are about to head into Salvages, you guys. I think I'm looking at it. Am I looking at it? Oh, I'll be so gutted. And if they don't have it in store then more than likely you guys will not be seeing this video and I will be completely annoyed hi hello hi so you guys have that new fragrance release by Kaya Lee this one no it's the one that dropped and they do not have it it's just really really annoying they only have they only have all the other fragrances, which is really annoying, but yeah. All right, you guys, like I said to you, um, whenever there's a new fragrance release, it's hardly ever inside of, it's hardly ever inside of Selfridges for some strange reason, which is as I anticipated, but never mind. There are a few new releases in store woo, that we are definitely going to be exploring today. You guys. Hi. So Tom Ford has a new fragrance, Azura Lime. Hi, love. Is this a new release from Tom Ford, right? No, this one oh. was released in 2010. Right, guys. So I've just had a smell of Azura Lime. So apparently, this is not a new release. It's a re-release fragrance. It was previously released in 2010 and now they're re-releasing it again overall this is just a nice a lemon zesty minty fresh aromatic very invigorating smelling fragrance beautiful scent slight resemblance to neroli portofino but a lot more heightened presence of the lemon and a, a more zesty vibe it's quite pretty you guys i am i love tampon i can't tampon's prices man Tampo's prices. Ooh. I haven't smelled this one as yet. I know this one isn't new because I think I've seen it somewhere on the gram. Let me just have a smell. Mm. Oh my god, she is very, very pretty. Okay. Excuse me. How long has this one been out? Two months. Ah, uh, it's okay. Months. So, all right. Soleil de Fee. I have not seen this one, and apparently, this is a tuberose scent. Nothing much, just a sweet tuberose fragrance. It smells kind of coconutty and a bit creamy. 
it's quite nice actually i'm surprised that people aren't going crazy over this release right here you guys and of course we have the soleil neige this one is um yeah very popular all right so i quickly came over to ysl to see if that new fragrance that's about to be released i think it's in like a silver bottle i was just checking you guys i think it's kind of like in a silver color here like something similar to this i'm just checking you guys there is no luck so i'm coming over to the dior counter to see if there's the the dior riviera is in and no luck ah damn you. hi there any chance you guys have a sample of the dior riviera so i can smell it we don't have it in stock we'll have it in stock in october so i just popped myself over to the dior counter to see if they have the new dior riviera and they don't have that either why don't these stores have their fragrances at the most local and available shops or stores? I don't get it. Anyways, let's yeah, move over at Juliet Has a Gun. I have never smelled Juliet Has a Gun Lust for Sun. And I've never smelled this um, pure ink that this ever popular pure ink. So pure ink smells, it smells okay, but it smells like a dry candied citrusy pear type of scent it's a dry candy pear scent that's what it smells like to me and then i will say juliet has a gun lost for sun it's definitely really pretty it smells really fruity but it's like a dry fruity scent pretty it's nice it's cute it's okay juliet has a gun pear ink uh, it's okay i don't know how i feel about it you guys i used to have vanilla vibes i sold it i need to buy it back because i really want this scent i love this perfume absolutely love this perfume I still think Julia has a gun vanilla vibes is the best from the brand. It's absolutely pretty. I need to look for this scent. Yeah, I need to do that. I need to get it back. Oh, I think we will be safe after all. So Lali Bella, you guys. Not Lali Bella, sorry. This one is Memo Paris. I don't believe I've ever came across any of the Memo Paris fragrances. I think now is the time that I should be smelling one. So shall we? Alright, so Tamarindo by memo paris you guys i'll need to try this baby right here this is like probably one of the most like popular ones from memo paris i always hear people talk about it so i'm gonna be smelling this fragrance for the very first time all right you guys i just smell quite a few from this brand okay so i smell lyra peach which i presume has in peach it has in sandbag jasmine absolute tuberose absolute and peach alcohol latte this is so scrumptious this is a warm soft sweet pretty peach tuberose fragrance you get the essence of the jasmine but the jasmine is like a carrier okay and the jasmine is like the base of this fragrance and you're getting a beautiful powdery there's something a little bit either smoky or woody tuberose essence in this perfume it's very pretty you guys something very very pretty about this particular scent Ooh, oh my god you guys so far i'm in love with everything from memo paris well okay then tamarindo the ever popular tamarindo this is like it's yeah. giving me similar vibes to um Moogler's angel oak Crozier. yeah angel oak Crozier. it has a similar pina colada vibe but a very mild softer and fresher vibe to pina colada of course, it has in pineapple, jasmine, and vanilla absolute. It's nice. It's a milder version. It's sweet. It's pretty. But it's more or less the same vibe from Angel Oak Crozier, which I am happily impressed. Hello. It does, smell, it does smell really nice, though. Okay. Then we have the ever popular Martha. Okay. Mm, a beautiful. It's like a. I, want, I wanted to say sandy. That's the first word that came to me. I'm getting somewhat of a sandy, beachy, orange tuberose scent. Orange blossom tuberose scent. A beautiful orange blossom tuberose and musk scent. It's giving me like suntan vibes, you guys. Martha is really pretty. It's like summer vibes. It's like really like um, vacation vibes. I'm getting like like really, you know, vacation and bottle vibes. Oh my God, Martha is so pretty. Oh my Lord. Then I smelled my Lali Bella. It's a rose patchouli scent and when i smelled it initially it was a lot more sweeter so obviously i've sprayed them all on a piece of paper and i put the piece of paper down and i'm getting a lot of the patchouli and the incense it's really pretty i still think it can be worn all year round but the patchouli in the incense is coming out a lot stronger as it settles down still very pretty 
and I could swear I smelled Sintra but I probably mixed up the paper so let me just smell it again alright so Sintra this is the orange flower absolute with vanilla absolute in Jibuma hummus this is um it's like a again I'm getting like um so I'm definitely getting like a it has an orange flower absolute and I'm guessing that's what I'm getting, but I'm getting like an orange blossom mixing with a tuberose vibe. It's kind of sweet, almost a little bit syrupy, but still very dry and airy. Like you're getting the orange flower mixing with the vanilla absolute. It's really, really nice, but very subtle, very like um, soft and pretty. That's nice. Sweet spiral. I mean, okay. So, Memo Paris is pretty, you guys. I'm not going to lie. It's really nice. Okay. I'm not gonna walk with all these pieces of paper because I'm gonna get confused. I need to sit with I'm gonna see how I feel about Memo Paris. So I really love like all of them. <laughs> Obviously we can't get all. So I'm gonna sit with them a little bit more. I don't wanna all of them smell really good, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Martha, Martha is like really impressing me. Okay. Shall we move on to something else? So, so I'm gonna move on to something else. See if I can find something, you know, to capture me today. Seeing as though I'm so disappointed, uh, but it's really busy here today. Oh, this looks pretty, Louisby. This bottle looks really pretty. I don't know what it is. Never heard anybody talk about it, but it's an Ear de Toilette Parlors Ibiza. That's so interesting. So, Parlors Ibiza by Loewe. It's a very like um, shampoo-y, clean, sweet, a little bit, very lightly fruity scent. It's really pretty, but it hasn't like, um, it smells like a fig note or something, a fig woody note or something in here. So, that's what I'm getting. I'm not quite sure, but there's definitely some woody elements. It smells a little bit aquatic as well and aromatic. It's really pretty, but mm, I can't say I'm completely like blown away by that one. I don't have anything from Loewe. I have never really explored this brand, so I really don't know just yet what I like from this brand. Not quite sure it's a thing for me. Hiya. I'm alright, thank you. Yes, I, I know. So you guys, Prada Milano. So you guys, I am just getting my nose on Prada Milano for the very first time. I know this fragrance has been making a lot of noise in the perfume community and I'm late. So let's just see what the hype is all about. All right, so Prada Milano. Okay, so this is a very fresh, I'm getting a really fresh, florally, you know, lightly sweetened Marc Jacob vibe from Prada Milano. Definitely, I'm getting similar vibes. So I think it's Marc Jacob, Daisy Intense. It's giving me that kind of vibe. I don't know if there's some strawberries in here, but there is something fruity, very florally, a little bit aquatic in my opinion. Very fresh, very pretty, okay? Mm, it's very refreshing, definitely spring-like type of vibe. I'm not quite sure it's a go. I know there is a lot of controversy behind this fragrance. Very simplistic scent, but mm, Marc Jacobs kind of gives me more vibe. I like Marc Jacobs actually. I would actually go for Daisy Intense over this one. That's just my feeling. Okay, so this new Angel Elixir, you guys, I have not smelt it as yet, but if you follow me, you know I am not a big fan of this brand right here at all. Sorry, not this brand. I am not a big fan of Angel Elixir or the original Angel. I only like the um, the Angel Nova or the Angel Eau Croisier, or the Angel Ice Star, but let's have a sniff. It looks like people have definitely enjoyed this because it looks like it's finished but the bottle is definitely pretty let me just have a sniff okay sorry guys there's no lock there this scent is pretty much finished so i can't even sample it but i'm sure it probably smells quite similar to the other angel or the original one you guys this is another controversial fragrance i am in love with this scent I don't know why, I mean, it wasn't that well received, but I can't tell you how much I am in love with this scent. Let me just grab myself a bladder. Where was I? Okay. Sorry, you guys, I got a phone call. As I was saying, I really, really, really enjoy this fragrance. 
it's very similar to this one you know what i had this one it's a little bit different and i didn't realize that this one is actually it's coming out fresher today i don't know why and this one is coming off a little bit more sharper a bit more sour and still a bit more sweeter it's still so different i think it's worth having both of them me just being excessive i love both of them i don't know why guys people don't like this fragrance i love it i'm happy with it Ooh. okay shall i move on to the next okay oh so tangerine boy you guys now i haven't seen this fragrance showing up on a lot of people's timelines and i would like to sample this fragrance but this looks empty i'm gonna try and see if i can smell it from the tap from the cap because oh my lord okay. you guys this is actually really pretty it's very different this is like a sweet tangy syrupy sweet tangerine fragrance it's very sugary sweet and very syrupy and kind of sticky there is a candy that smells just like this okay so this smells like a tangerine candy not bad it's very different i mean i'm seeing a lot of people talk about it but mm, i don't know how i feel about it there's quite a few other scents here like ameline i need to try these apricot prevail the price point doesn't look too too bad at all What's this? so they're selling 50 mils at Right, they're not they're having a sale right now actually oh okay well let me just have a browse but let me see which one would i like to try ameline looks quite interesting ameline is a no ameline is no and it's kind of like a very faint floral fragrance with somewhat of a there is like a piney scent in the background an aromatic pine salt smell in the background i'm not really feeling ameline at all sandara mm. another floral aromatic scent not really the eye catcher not, nothing spectacular if I, if I could be honest yeah so sandara not very you know eye catching this bottle looks interesting like blue green bottles like ooh. like these blue transparent green bottles always capture me this one is called floria floria has a very interesting smell floria smells like whiskey yeah it smells like a whiskey scent yeah so it smells a little bit floral a little bit aquatic and a little bit boozy either boozy or there's something like a suntan lotion vibe in here so but there's something a little bit boozy as well it's really interesting i want to say there's some sandalwood it's a sandalwoody vibe in here like a boozy floral a little bit citrusy sandalwood vibe a little bit beachy in my opinion it's okay but i don't know how i feel about it it's actually an interesting scent it's it's actually quite interesting not quite sure it's interesting enough but it's nice mm. all right you guys i've been seeing people talk about this baby here recently oh my god this is nice well the bottle looks pretty let me just have a smell i'm saying it's nice just by looking at the bottle let me just have a sniff real quick selena just nice but a little bit different selena has somewhat of like an earthy fresh a little bit a hint of green dry scent to it it's very different i like it though because i like different but it's like i get it you know i definitely think i love the uh, amouage but i'm just getting started with amouage to be fair okay you guys have you tried this brand the mean i have never tried i have never tried anything from this brand but the bottles do stand out i do love a nice blue bottle during this time of the year During this type of the during this time of the year, but fragrances in these bottles just stand out to me. So I like um, Patella, uh, Patelia, Patelia. I'm I'm sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I like this scent. It has like a um, a slight baccarat rouge esque vibe, spicy, sweet, fruity, punchy, musky vibe to it. I like it. 
definitely love this scent. I think I like it because it smells familiar. Ooh. Let me head on over to Maison Francis Cottage. All right, so I decided to head on over to Francis Coq de Jean. I wanna smell this new fragrance, or should I say, I wanna give you guys my thought on this new fragrance because, yeah, it recently came out. I briefly smelled it the last time I was here, but I don't feel like it left a lasting impression, but I wanna, give, I wanna revisit it one more time just to let you guys know how I feel about it. One thing I'm gonna say, the bottle is everything. I, just, I think this fragrance is such a crying shame. <laughs> such a crying shame. A very citrusy, fresh, minty-ish, airy, almost aloe vera smelling type of perfume. It's refreshing, it's clean, it's pretty. It's like on a clean summer day. It smells a little bit aquatic even. But the bottle is so much more exciting than the fragrance. Such a crying shame, yo. Oh my God. Such a crying shame. It's giving me Hermes vibes. Yeah, so the En Jardin range, but yeah. Such a crying shame. This fragrance, the bottle is far more exciting than actual scent. Guys, I tried my best to save my video for today because I am absolutely gutted, okay? I came to Selfridges, I'll go this way quickly. I came to Selfridges to grab Kylie's new fragrance only to come out empty handed without even having a sample or a smell. Like, doesn't that suck ass? I didn't know that this fragrance was online. Had I known, like, oh my God, I would have just woke up this morning and jumped online and ordered that shit today, like pronto. I'm so annoyed, I'm annoyed beyond measure. But anyhow, in the meantime, I'm in the city and um, I'm leaving Selfridges now. I wanna actually go to the barber, you guys. I'm thinking about doing something different. Perhaps I'll take you guys with me. I'll be ready to end the video. All right, guys. So unfortunately, there's no lock today in Selfridges. I'm actually gonna leave. I'm heading to the barber. I'm gonna be doing something different in my hair and you guys are probably gonna see later. But I'm not gonna take you guys. You probably don't wanna go with me to the barber after all. Like, why would you? But yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just sign off on the video, head home, and try to order me that brand spanking new Kylie scent online so you guys will hear about it some other time. But yeah, thank you guys for shopping with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I tried to save this, you know, shopping vlog as much as possible. It wasn't in vain because I get I did get to discover a few fragrances from Memo Paris and um thamine and i smelled prada paradox for the first time and yeah so it wasn't in vain okay and obviously i gave you guys my thoughts on the new mfk fragrance because i did see the last time but it wasn't my focus i think somebody was smelling it so i didn't get a chance to touch base with it but yeah this day is done but it's a lovely day the sun is shining it's not a lovely day it's freezing cold <laughs> It's freezing cold, okay? But yeah, I'm gonna head towards my barber and try something different, you guys. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If in fact you did, please give me a very big thumbs up. If you guys are new, again, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't leave without subscribing and hit the notification bell so that way you will be notified. So that way when I do get myself on the new Kylie fragrances, you guys will hear about it first. Until next time, see you guys in my next video. Bye.